Hey everyone, Google's new flagship video generation model VO 3.1 is here and it comes with a new capability which you might have not seen. So as you can see, this is the official documentation of generated video with VO 3.1 in Gemini API. So now as you can see over here, it comes with the three new capability. First is video extension, second is frame specific generation and third is image based direction. So you might be thinking that image based direction, it was earlier as well. But no, it has something new out over here. So first video extension, it's an amazing tool. So now consider that you have already generated a video. Now we want the extension of that video. So all the color grading, all the person, everything should stay consistent in the second video as well. So now VO3 bring that capability in your hand. Now you can pass the earlier video and you will get the extended video with all the consistency which was there in the first video as well. Now for the second capability, frame specific generation, there are models which have this capability like Helio and Mid Journey. But now VO3 comes with the same capability. Now you can pass the first frame and the last frame for the video generation so that it will generate the middle part for you. And third is kind of the reference based generation. Now you can pass up to three image as a reference, then it will generate the video according to the reference. So let me show you example for all these things. Now you can see note this feature is available for VO 3.1 model only. Now as you can see, we are passing dress image, woman image and the glasses image. And now in the prompt, we are saying the video opens with a medium eye level shot of a beautiful woman with a dark hair and a warm brown eye. And you can read the prompt from this documentation link. But if I show you the video in the bottom, you will see all the consistency which was mentioning everything is properly documented. So it's an amazing thing. Now you can pass multiple images up to three images for the reference and it will generate it. Now another is kind of a first and last frame. Now as you can see in the first image, the ghost is sitting in a swing. In the second image, the ghost is not there. And now if you see the prompt, a cinematic haunting video, a ghostly woman with a long white hair with a frowning dress swinging gently on rope swing beneath a massive granite tree in a foggy moonlight clearing. So that is the same thing happening over here. In the first image, the ghost is there. In the last image, it's not there. Now in the video, you can see the fog is coming and the ghost is fading away slowly. And the major capability is kind of extending VO video. This is kind of a VO3 model only where you can generate video as long as 141 seconds. Obviously combined video one after one after one. And this is only supported in the Gemini API only. So in the third party application somewhere, it won't be supported. It's only supported by a Gemini API. Fit ratio are 9 to 16 and 16 to 9. The resolution is 720p and the video length could be 141 second or less. So if you can see the, this is the first video we generated where origami butterfly flap its wing and flies out of a French door into the garden. So in the right hand side, if you see the video, the uh, butterfly is going till the garden over here. But after that video is not there. Now if you go to the bottom, okay, I mean, we can see over here, we are passing the video which we generated from here. Okay, butterfly video. It's a butterfly video over here. And then we are seeing some different prompt. So now if you go to the bottom and if you see the video, this is the first part of the video. Which you saw earlier as well. Now the extended part will come. So 8 seconds was generated earlier. Now this is the new 8 second which got generated from this. So you can see everything is properly consistent over here. So each and every material, everything is properly maintained. So that's the power of this extended video part. So today we are going to see all this capability properly in the N8N. So stay till the end. Now to see the capability of VO3, we are going to use a two tool. One is N8N and second is file.ai. But before that, let's see how we can use this thing in the official website. So for that, you go to labs.google. You can search that and go over there. And over here, we can see we have a creative flow. You click on that, do the sign in, then we'll click on creative with flow. After the sign in, you can see there is a new project. Now in the bottom, you can see we have a box where we can put a text. Now you can see by default VO 3.1 is selected. You can select other models as well. Okay. We can, uh, there are multiple models. VO 2 is going to end soonly, but we have VO 3.1 and there are multiple things which we can do, which we just saw. There is text to video from text to video, then frame to video where you can see in the bottom, there is the first frame and the last frame you can put, and there is kind of a ingredient to video. It's kind of a reference video or image only. So you can see we can provide three reference images over here. In the free version of your account, you will get 100 credits, but we are going to see something better. Uh, if you are the programmer, if you are kind of a developer, you might be needing an API key or something to develop this automatically. So we are going to see that with the file.ai and editor. So for the people who don't know what is N8N, so N8N is a basically a low code, flexible AI workflow automation tool, which can automate anything. I have made tons and tons of video on N8N. If you want to, you can go and check out my channel and you can see multiple videos out there. But now if you want to give an NTN, so there are two options. The first option is to have a, a cloud version and second is to have a, a self-hosted version. 
Now to have the self-hosted version for your N10, the best hosting provider is kind of Hostinger and I'm using this for more than one year and I am not disappointed till date. This is the only platform which gives you one click hosting for your N10. And if you scroll down, the pricing is much, much cheaper than the cloud version out there. And with that, you get unlimited executions. Now you can select the plan according to your requirement, according to your RAM requirement and the bandwidth requirement. I am much settled with the KVM2, more than enough for me. You can come over here, click on choose plan and I'm going to give you a code which will give you more 10% off. Now you can see there is kind of a 1 month, 12 month, 24 month. The code only applies on the 12 month and 24 month. Now you can come over here, click on have a coupon code and write Lakshit and click on apply. Now you're getting more 10% off. Now you can click on continue and then you can do the payment and you are good to go. Now once you've done the payment, you'll be landing in the same page as I am. So now you can click on the manage. You will be seeing the N10 hosted by default. And if you cannot see the N10 hosted by default, what you can do, you can come over here in the left hand side, click on OSN panel, click on operating system. Inside this, you can see Ubuntu. Inside that, you will be seeing the N10 option out there. You can click on that and the N10 will be installed. Now you can click on manage app and you can log in properly in the N10 and you, you are good to go. And you will be seeing this same page over here. Now to work on the VO3 and the file AI, what we are going to do, we'll click on uh, create a workflow. And now we have this blank space over here. Now to get the Access to the VO3, we are going to use second tool, which is called as file.ai. So the file.ai is in kind of aggregator where all the video generation model and the image generation model you will get at one place. So with a single API key, you can access all the model out there. So now after doing the login, you will be seeing such kind of a place where you can see all the models and all the image generation model over here. Now we'll come on the search bar, search for VO3.1 and you can see all the uh, VO3.1 model over here. Click on any one of them. Now this is the interface which you're going to play with and also we'll get the API key from you. Now, if you click on this drop down, you will see all the models over here, the fast model and the normal model over here as well. With the text to video, then first and last frame to video, image to video, reference to video. Now, if you want to generate anything, so you can see over here, we are currently on the first frame to last frame over here, where in the first frame is only a normal woman and there is a woman with the head over here. And in the bottom, if you see the in the prompt, the woman looks into the camera, breath in and then exclaim energetically. Have you guys checked out VO 3.1 first frame to video on file.am? It's incredible. So that's same thing happening over here. Now if you want to replicate this same thing in our N10, what we can do first from here, so instead of form, click on the curl. Now we have this whole thing, which all configuration is made for the, to generate this video. We have whole configuration over here. Just copy this configuration, go back to N10. Click on the first part. First, we are going to do the manually thing. So we need a trigger. So trigger is nothing but which starts the workflow. So first we are going to start manually. So that for that reason, we require trigger manually. Now we need to use that configuration, which was there in file.ai over here. So for that, we'll be using this HTTP node in uh, come over here, import curl and paste that command. Things we need to change is kind of a remove this much part. And in the bottom, we are seeing this much part. So remove this much part and then import. All the configuration is properly imported over here. Now, as you can see, the only thing we require is kind of a file key over here. So for that, we'll go to the file again. In the top, you can see over here, I have some kind of a credit. You need to have some credits over here. How you can install some credits, I'll click on account. Now come over here instead of manage. Instead of manage, click on the kind of a billing. Now you can add your card over here or you can add the one-time payment as well, which I am doing. So you can see credits over here, click on credit. Now you can add a some amount of credit. So minimum you can add kind of a $10, okay, which is enough for you to do the experiment and everything. So I have added that earlier. So now I have all the credits. Now I'll go back on the manage. There is an API key. Click on that. Now you can create a new API key. You can give any kind of a name over here. Create in this API key is created. So click on that, copy the key, go back to N10. Now paste the key over here. Okay. Then you are good to go. Now everything is properly done end to end. Now it's just a matter, click on the execute steps and your everything will start happening. So now as you can see, the processing has started running now. You can see it's kind of a status in queue right now. So now how to get the information for this thing? How to get the video? So for that, we'll go back again to file and we'll go back to the VO. And now we we'll click on the API and scroll down a little bit. And over there, you'll be seeing the patch request status over here. Okay, so there are two APIs, fetch request status. This API help you to find out what is the current status of the video which you generated and get a result. This is the API which gives you the result. So currently we're going to use this kind of a API. So for that, we'll click on this, go back to the N10, go back, click on plus icon, search for HTTP, HTTP uh, import over here and import it. 
and now we require the file key again so you can see we have to put the file key again and again so i have a best solution for, for this you can go back to the http node come over here in authentication click on the generic credential type click over here click on the header auth and whatever same thing we have written just copy this authorization and we'll create new header auth come over here create new credentials in the name right authorization in value write key and space and put the api key which we just generated and once you have done that, give the proper naming so that if you have multiple credentials, it is there for you to identify. Okay. Once you've done that, do the save and you're good to go. I have already done it. So I won't be doing it again. And once you've done that, just uh, close this send header. Once it is done, we'll uh, save it. We'll go to the uh, next part. And now over here, we can just select that what we just created. Now we'll select the uh, API key and we can close this. And now if we come over here and now we will be requiring a request ID over here. So for that, in the left hand side, you can see we have a request ID. We'll drag and drop and put it proper and execute the step. So now you can see we're getting an error. Your request is invalid or could not be processed by the service. So we are seeing that we require first frame, last frame. So there is some problem over here. Okay, so we need to figure it out. So I figured it out. So what is the problem is that if you go to the first node over here, okay, if you go to the bottom, it's not having the proper JSON format over here. So for that, just copy the JSON format whatever format which you are having copy it inside the using json uh, field below we'll be using using json come over here inside expression open the expression and put it over here this is the format which we want so we will make it proper so this is the format which we require so we'll execute the step again so now as you can see the video is generated have you guys checked out vo 3.1 first last frame to video on fal it's incredible so it worked perfectly fine. Now to generate the rest of the thing, it's very simple. I think you might have got the gist. I hope you got to know how you can use the VO3 and the capability of VO3.1, which it brings with you. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please press the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.